Hello everyone, today's what I have to show you today is the inner workings of a Grave Raver. This is my dynamite skeleton that I've had for quite some time now, and if you remember, uh, I never put the right gear in his torso, so it sounded just like the arm on the peppermint snowman that I gave Retro Skull. Um, but he's all fixed now. His clothes, I just got rid of his clothes. His clothes are completely ruined. Uh, I'm just gonna buy a Groove and Ghoulie and put his clothes on him. They're absolutely disgusting. They're old, they're nasty, they're covered in holes. Here, I'll actually show you the old one. I just ripped it off because I'm just going to throw it out. Like, look at how torn up this is. And all the hot glue on it for me. Yeah, I don't fix stuff like that anymore, luckily. But this one, I finally replaced the gear and I hot glued his wires back on. Uh, and then I glued this arm back on because his arm had broken off. Uh, but this is what it looks like with the clothes. This is obviously not dynamite because dynamite has white bones. But yeah, as you can see here from the clothes ripping, it's gotten wrapped around in there. And that also helped rip it. And I put a new speaker in him and a new gear in his torso, and eventually his arms are going to need a new gear, because I still have not replaced that, so he still has his original gear from 2011. But yeah, I'll give you like kind of a 360 of it. And this is where the belt is at. And yeah, I'll show him to you now. And then, of course, here's what they look like with the clothes on. I'm sure everyone's seen what they look like without the clothes. This one has not needed his re gears replaced at all yet. So those are still his original gears in there. And it actually sounds like one of them is ticking again. Or for the first time. Yeah, look, you can see where his clothes are ripping on the side. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed.